Good. So this, <laughs> this is AJ. Hey, I want to talk specifically about those last two corner threes that you had in the final minutes. Just what was working that that made those possible, and and how'd you feel your first game, first game in the bubble? I actually feel pretty good. Um, coming to this game felt good. Um, again, this this environment, man, is just you know, it's, it's basketball. It's, it's all about basketball and, and making plays and doing what you have to do. Everything is kind of magnified here yeah, because there's no fans. It's, 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 it's intimate, it's boutique. So that environment, I, I love those type of environments. But, um, you know, I, I was just playing off of Dame and CJ. Those guys found me on the weak side. And, you know, my job was to make the shots and I, I, I did that. Hey, any other questions? Sorry, if no one else is going to go, I've got another one for you. Um, that starting unit was Zach Collins and Yusuf Nurkic. How how happy were you with the way it flowed, and what are some things that you would like to see change ahead of your next game on Sunday? Everything was flowing. Man. We, we came out the game you know, prepared, ready to go. We was locked in. Um, I'm, I'm sure, as, as everybody who watched the game saw that, um, <clears throat> having those guys out there, being able to play off of those guys, the energy level, you know, just just picks up. Um, you know, both both smart players. So, you know, they they just doing their job. You know, I'm I'm happy that they those guys are healthy and back and you know a part of this team. And I'm just happy to be out there with them. Jamie, hey Melo, how would you describe the the ball movement today? You guys really seemed on the same page offensively. Yeah, I mean, we <clears throat> first half, you know, it was a tell of two halves. First half, we was, you know, we, we got it rolling. We was playing good. We came out the gate, locked in. Uh, that third quarter, you know, we kind of let our foot off the gas a little bit. Um, they made a run. They made two runs in that, in, that, in that third quarter. So we noticed a game of runs. But fourth quarter, we, we saw what they was trying to do. We actually did not try to do it. We saw what they was doing. And, we, you know, we came to the timeout, and the message was, let's just move the ball, make the right play, make the right pass. They over helping. Um, you know, the weak side will be there, just be ready to shoot and just be ready to make a play. You guys, have you talked about what it is about third quarters, maybe letting off the gas there, or it kind of has been a theme for you guys? Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, now, I mean, today, I don't, I don't like speaking on the past, but I know today that's, you know, that's kind of what happened a little bit. Um, I'm not going to say that we we, got, we were satisfied, we got complacent. You know, the Memphis is a you know a great team. They play hard. Young guys play hard. So we knew they was going to make runs. We just had to sustain that and and be there in the, in the moment, and then you know give ourselves a chance to win the basketball game. Carmelo, sorry, sorry, uh, Carmelo. Uh, you know, Yusuf just told us that his grandma had COVID and was in the hospital. How much of that did you guys know? Did you guys know that at all? And and. and I mean, how can you kind of, huh? Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, oh that, I, that's just news to me. This is stuff something oh. that uh, okay. you you breaking the news to me right now. So this is something that uh, I'm just hearing, and you know, my prayers go out go go out to his family. Is this this is something that um, that we can't play with, you know? So hopefully everything goes well, and you know, get the proper treatment, and you know, do what he got to do, but. This is the, you know, that's, that's what's more important than, than basketball right now. And, and one more question, Melo. Uh, you know, this intensity tonight or was, was ratcheted up, it felt like. I mean, how, how happy were you to be back in a situation where the stakes were raised and, you know, this was really close to playoff basketball? This is playoff basketball for us and for me. I can tell you that. This is something that we've been looking forward to for a long time, you know, since the, since the uh, stoppage of our season. Um, we've been preparing for this, especially today. Um, so this, this is something that, you know, I, myself, and, you know I, I look forward to these moments. You know, this is, this is a mindset that, that a different mindset that you have to have. Uh, you know, some teams have the luxury of, you know, kind of feeling their way through and getting through it, but not for us. And you, you saw the intensity tonight with that. Okay, last question from AJ. Okay, sorry, Mel, I promise this is the last one. So you talk about it being playoff basketball, obviously playing the Grizzlies. It even feels more than that because it's the team that you're chasing. So what did it 
how did it feel to to face the Grizzlies, and how do you like the way you matched up against them? I, I, honestly, I thought we did a great job today. Um, you know, some things that we, we we would adjust to, but overall, I thought we came out ready to go. Um, we matched up well with those guys. Um, we we stayed in the game. We could have easily, you know, let those guys run it up and, and, and get confidence, but we we we, we stuck in it. Um, and, you know, and, and we persevered tonight. We we stayed with it throughout the course of the game. gave us gave ourselves a chance to win the basketball game, and we did that when it when it came down to it. And guys, um, Dame and CJ and, and Nurk and Gary, everybody, we we made winning plays tonight, and that's why we won the game.